Spurs side then, it's bad news that Steve Perriman, who injured a knee when he saved a certain own goal on Wednesday night, he's out. Ricardo Villa is also out injured. But Terry Yorath returns after flu. Terry Naylor replaces Perryman, and Peter Taylor is in the number 11 shirt in place of Villa. Meanwhile, Southampton, they are unchanged. It's the side that beat Manchester City 4-1 in the last game. They didn't play last week, incidentally. The absentees still are Steve Williams, who's got a troublesome stomach injury, and David Peach, who gets a game in the Southampton Reserves today after a long layoff through injury. The referee is Reg Robinson of Woodbridge, and we're going to join the game now in the first half. Then Hoddle again for top. Yora. Hewton's made a run down the right. And a very good piece of play indeed by the young fullback. And uh, the extraordinary thing was that Yora, without looking, seemed to know that he was making that run. In for Hoddle. Played on for Naylor. A little touch there for Taylor. Oh, trying to go straight through Hebert. Here's Hewton, though. Pratt. Hewton's continued down that left. Pratt playing it in first time, but nobody up there in a threatening position. Hewton's uh, header didn't get a lot of ground. Hollow with the shots. And a goal kick. With 20 minutes gone, neither defence has had yet the slightest scare. Ardenas. John Pratt, Armstrong, played in nicely there for Ardiles, Pratt playing it on for Hoddle, dumped there by Holmes, and a free kick to Tottenham. And a couple of signs and a bit of frustration from Peter Taylor. And then the little chip coming in there, and Southampton could so easily have been Alan Ball. is going absolutely crazy with his defence there, and quite rightly too. Uh, I'm sure Laurie McPenley, who was here on uh, Wednesday, would have spotted the danger there, and that was the identical position from which Jerry Armstrong scored the winner against Swindon, and again it was a Peter Taylor free kick. And Armstrong was allowed to go absolutely free, but didn't get a touch with his head. free kick to Southampton, which they've already taken. Ball coming in there, ever trying to get a header in there, but a good piece of play by Naylor, but it away for Tottenham, only as far here as Watson, trying to force his way through physically, and a foul against the Southampton defender. This one looks as though Southampton might be making a useful situation there for themselves, as it is, it's a free kick which Ball has now taken here for Walton. Driven in there and pushed away well by Barry Davis. Holmes turning it back again. If the big men are up, it could be trouble. Baker with a shot through a crowd of players for hitting a Spurs defender and getting it away. And here's Taylor. Last one. Now faced by Gola. Oh, for a moment, there might have been another corner given away by uh, Ivan Gorak, but this time it was more accurately played to the goalkeeper, Peter Wells. Short touch there for Baker. Yes, Holmes. This could be trouble for Tottenham. A shot by Holmes and it hits. Harry Danes on the left foot. Good swift break that by Southampton. And Holmes always dangerous when he gets it on the left foot. And he only hit the left foot of uh, Harry Danes. Only one by Shannon for Baker. Heading there towards Holmes. And this could be it. Holmes and again hitting the left foot of Danes. And that's twice in uh, about 90 seconds. Nick Holmes has been right through there. And twice it's been the left foot of Barry Danes that has denied him the chance of putting Southampton into the lead. Watson's header. Shannon, challenged really firmly there by Hewton. 
Yorath, a good ball played here for Naylor. Played in again for Holland, right up there amongst the front men now. Can Holland do something here? What a lovely bit of skill. And how near to being a really brilliant goal. Getting applause from his own teammates, and quite rightly so, when he took that ball from Naylor and took it on his chest. And the angle was always an awkward one, but somehow he still got a little log floated in there just beyond the far post. Heading it down quite comfortably there for Nicol. Ball to Golak. Play forward again towards Boyer. Ball joining in the attack again. Shannon after this one. Naylor got ahead to it though. And McAllister after this one. A free kick to Tottenham. Naylor's taken. Taylor onside. Now, is this the chance for Spurs? Punched away well by Peter Wells. Southampton caught out a little there for the speed which Spurs got that move going. And Wells equal to Taylor's shot. It's really pouring with rain now. Adilis. Oh, and Newton going on his way across the goal there, but in fact it was cut out well there by Watson. And in fact, the, uh, the heavy rain that's falling now is going to just make that top a little bit greasy and could in fact quicken the pace in this game. If you'd like to apply for that job, I can surely give you the address. straight away but Golak had other ideas that's a good cross when he did come in towards Boyer Holmes with a shot and he's wide with his taken off him by Boyer now Golak oh. Golak again Heading. Nicely guided there for Pratt. Taylor taking it back again. A lot of space on the right for Holt. Callister going outside him as well. Still with Hoddle though. Played for York. Wide here for Jerry Armstrong, but it wasn't a good one. And a chance now for Southampton to make a break with Hebert. Hebert going on his own, and he might get all the way to try a shot. Hitting Barry Danes once again. Spurs are saved once more. It looked as though Shannon might have been in an offside position and Hebert may have suspected that himself. Made all the running and got in the shot. Now Shannon is offside. That's two in the first half he saved with his left foot and that was something around the knees I would have thought by Barry Danes. Good reactions though.
Spurs as a man in defence came springing forward, catching Southampton offside. Yorick trying to find Naylor, but cut out again by Southampton, and it's Malcolm Waldron playing in here for Boyer. Twenty minutes to go. It was back with header towards Boyer over the top. Boyer thought it was a corner. Mitch Robinson, the referee, pointing quite firmly to the edge of the six-yard area that it's a good kick. Taylor and right across the face of that goal and it's uh, Graham Baker in fact who turns it away just a trace possibly of offside there as Peter Taylor turned that ball in skidding across that goal Should have been brandishing a few cards and one thing or another, but uh, 
who was guilty and who was not guilty, I'm not sure. Maybe in the end he came to the right decision.